Jenny, I'm a coach and NLP practitioner, and I help people thrive through big changes, not just survive. I'm going to talk to you about how we can stop procrastination using Mel Robbins' five second rule. Knowing what to do is easy. The information is everywhere. Brenny Brown talks a lot about how to's in magazines and online, how to fix your life in, in 10 easy steps, how to um, lose weight in five quick minutes, you know, all these how to's, how to, how to. But with all these how to's in the world, we tend still not to do things. And I was um, interested in this because on social media, we see a lot of how to's. I do some top tips, yet still people really struggle. And Mel Robbins also says, knowing what to do is really easy. It's really simple. We all know what to do. Any issue is Googleable. There's very few things that you can't just go onto Google and go, oh, well, this is how you do X or Y. And the thing is, we read those things and then we don't do it. And it's not about knowing what to do that's the issue. It's about how to go about doing it and how to stop our brains sabotaging ourselves. And that's a big thing. Our brains are wired through generations and through history to stop ourselves doing things that are uncomfortable. So it kicks into habit mode and goes, oh, that's scary, let's not do that. And we talk ourselves out of it really quickly. And for any of you who have seen the Disney movie, The Croods, which is one of my favorites, you'll know all about this. So one of the things they talk about is in the caves, they just wanted to stay safe and keep safe. And it took for one person to come in and think out of the box and take action for them to live a whole new big life instead of sitting in their dark cave all the time feeling afraid. So taking action is the thing that pushes us forward in life. But how do we take action when our brains are wired to stop us doing just that? So how do we go get over that? And Mel Robbins created or thought of this five second rule. And what the five second rule does is we literally just count down from five. Five, four, three, two, one. In that time, we have to have taken action because the counting brings in our logical brain, the prefrontal cortex, and it jumps us out of the habit loop, which is the natural instinct to not do it. How many times have you thought, oh, I'm going to just, um, that's a great idea. I'm going to go and do, oh yeah, no, I'm not going to do that now. I've done it so many times. Even this morning lying in bed, I thought, oh, I must go and practice my scales on the piano. But because I didn't get up and do it immediately, I haven't done it yet. And I've got a feeling I may not get to the scales on the piano today because I keep squashing those thoughts with, I've got too much to do. I've got a YouTube video to do. I've got all sorts of things going on. So I haven't taken action. I haven't done the countdown. So the five second rule is really, really easy. Um, I want to go and do scales on the piano. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, well, I'm in the middle of a YouTube video. That's not ideal, is it? So it's not a great time for me to do the scales on the piano. What do I do about that? You could be at a party, you could be anywhere and you have these great ideas for work and solving a problem. So what do you do? If you think it's definitely worth keeping and doing later, you write it down. So get your phone out, put it in notes, put it somewhere. You write it down. The action, the taking action within the five seconds of writing it down will get your logical brain into gear and thinking and get you to do that. So if you're worried about, oh, well, I come up with all these ideas in the shower, um, I, can't, I can't just be taking action. Make the note, take an action in that you will, um, you're not necessarily going to jump out of the shower and write things down, but do something physically that's going to remind you that you then want to do that. So it's about taking physical movement action, just moving your body. Like in the shower, you could maybe just do move some way that's going to set your logical brain into thinking about a moment. So in the video of Mel that I watched, um, the first thing I saw of her and it really inspired me was all she got her audience to do was stand up and move to a different seat. 
And in taking that action, it got all their brains back into action mode and out of habit mode because they probably all sat next to people that they knew. So it's worth looking that up. It's really interesting. So what next? What are you going to take action on? How many things have you thought, oh, I must do that. And then you just change your mind and you've talked yourself out of it. I do it all the time. So what is the next step for you? Try the five second rule, see how you get on with it. Um, and I'd love to know in the comments what you think, whether you've tried it yourself, because you might already know about Mel. So tell me if you've already tried it and if it made a big impact on your life. I am doing it this week. The more you do it, <clears throat> the more you get used to it. It's like anything with, um, with changing habits. The more you do the countdown, you, the more your brain goes, oh, we're counting down. We're going into action mode now. And that's what happens. So try it every single day. If you're putting something off, like doing your YouTube or your social media or contacting a client or um, looking at the, the plan that you've chosen but you've not actually done it, whatever that is, whether it's calling a coach today, it could be calling somebody to change your life and you've been putting it off for years. Lots of my clients call me and they go, oh yeah, um, I've been thinking about getting a coach for years, but I've never done it. So if you've been thinking about having a coach to help you get through your life stuff and you've never done it, apply the five second rule. Five, four, three, two, go onto Google, coaches near me or coaches who are gonna help with whatever issue you're looking at and if you're looking to not just survive anymore, not just feel fine, not just feel okay, then give me a call. Implement the five second rule. Go onto my website and have a look. Remember to click all the buttons, the likes, the subscribes, the notification bell and um, have a really powerful day using your five second rule. What's the first action you're going to take? Mine is, I'm going to do scales on my piano. So five, four, three, two, one, and off. See you later.